inviting our next very special speakers. Oh, yes, actor and activist, very important, Kevin Bacon and Kira Sedgwick. Now, we know them both as actors. Okay, who doesn't remember Footloose? Who didn't try to do those dances and then probably hurt your ankle? <laughs> so, um, Kevin is an actor. He's a producer. He's a director. He's won many awards. Um, and, oh, Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild, and Emmy. Um, yes, remember Footloose, Apollo 13, A Few Good Men, and Mystic River. Now, one of my favorite things that I remember you from with your daughter is the Ionic 6 commercial. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you remember that? Yes, I do. Now, Kira Sedgwick, she's an actress. She's a producer and a director. Um, she's the winner of a People's Choice Award and an Emmy. Um, I loved The Closer. That was fantastic. Um, and they're married and they have two phenomenal children, Travis and Sosie. And they're here tonight because they are social justice warriors. Thank you for joining us again. Thank you so much, Andrea. We're so happy to be here. We feel really, I feel really humbled by hearing everyone tonight. Uh, there's so much great work that you guys do. Um, and I love those statistics of where you guys have been able to touch into and get, help people to know their rights as voters. Um, you know, we hear it all the time, but nothing could be more true than the fact that this is the most important election of our lives, whether it's for the presidential race, but also down ballot. And one of the great rights of being an American is that we live in a democracy and that we get to make our voices heard, that there is a government for the people, by the people, and that we are allowed to vote in or out people that we think are going to be good for America. Um, it's so devastating to me. And so it's surprising on one level, of course, not surprising at all that there's so much voter suppression, but the only way that we can combat that is to face it head on, understand what the enemy is and help through education. And that's what you guys do over and over again. And it's so incredibly impressive. And not only are you creating um, an education and for, for people to understand what their rights are as voters, but you're also creating a safe place, a place for community, a place for people to come together to, you know, get fed if they need to get fed, to have, you know, that there's food banks and there's way, help uh, filing taxes, et cetera. I mean, and all of these things cost money. So we're so happy to be here to ask very nicely for um, some money from everyone that is here today, along with a celebration, you know, really it's boots on the ground, it's training volunteers, and it's really helping to get the word out. And all of that is expensive and all of that costs money. And we feel really grateful to be here tonight to be able to ask for that for you guys and to celebrate what an incredible, what incredible work you guys are doing every day. I would also just, well, the first thing I would say is there's there's three words that uh, I've always tried to live uh, a, a great portion of my life by, and those words are what she said. Uh, you know, that that's that that's what keeps me on the straight and narrow. So I agree with everything that, that Kira said about the work that you're doing and also about the raising money. We just made a, a small donation ourselves. Um, you know, I... I remember I grew up in Philadelphia and right in the center of, of, of the city. And I would go on voting day with my mother <laughs> to the booth. And I think when I was, I could be wrong about this, but I think when I was very, very young, she would have to bring me in because she couldn't leave me all alone. And I would see her, you know, pull those levers. And then later on, it just seemed like I was always with her when my father was working, but, but 
I was always with her when she was doing the voting. And it was so, there was something so kind of um, magical about it, you know, to see uh, her, you know, taking control just of those levers mm. and to see all the people that were there who looked some like us and some not like us, who all had the ability to go and, you know, use their voices when I first heard about uh, the idea of voter suppression when I was a young man, I was like, this is crazy. Like, like, like it's, how, it's, it's so, it's, it's, it is impossible to defend the idea that you would not let certain people vote in this country. There's no defense for it. It's despicable. So the work that you are doing to uh, with the with with the letter writing in all of those states, whether they're battleground states or not, just to get people out and motivated and being there to pull the lever or however you do it now, uh, is really or write in or you know is really inspirational and we support everything you're doing 100 percent and uh, keep up the great work. Thanks so much for inviting us tonight. Thank you. Yeah.